what's going on youtube this is pod hijacker here so in this video we are going to see how we can do arp sniffing and spoofing and capture uh, sensitive information in our network through an automated way and in previous video we saw how we can do this attack using two tools first one is itrcap and second one is wireshark so itrcap helps in to do arp spoofing and on the other hand wireshark helps us to <coughs> capture the sensitive information which is passing through the through our network so if you haven't watched that video so please go watch that video first because there i explain all the all the basics and foundation required for doing this arp spoofing attack and after that come on to this video so here we have two machines first one is kali linux and second one is windows so this is an attacker machine and this is a victim machines and these both machine are running on my vm but you can simulate this attack on an on your network also but uh, keep in mind that don't do anything unethical this uh, um, this video is for just educational purpose so we are going to use a tool better cap in this tutorial so if uh, you haven't that tool in your machine you can install that using apt install better cap and it will automatically install better cap in your system in my system it's already installed so we can uh, take a look at the better cap help menu at first here we have so many flags but right now we need only this one flag i face which will use uh, interface to specify the interface so we will use this flag to specify the interface and i am simulating this on eth0 interface so here you can uh, see that type help for a list of command if you don't know how to operate better cap just type help here and it will tell you all it will list all the modules which better cap ha have and you can use these modules so uh, here we have some modules so first we have to uh, enumerate uh, enumerate the victim sorry not, not victim machine like all the ips present in our network for that we are going to use this net.prob so if you want to do if you want to help on a module you can just type help and the module name net.prob and it will show the help menu of a module here you can see it says net.prob on start network call host probing in background so it will prob all the host in the background and it will use udp packets to identify every possible ip present on the subnet okay you can also take a look at these flags but for now we just need net.prob on and now it will probe all the ips present in our network by just sending udp packets and if you again do help now you will see that net.recon is also get started but we haven't started that so why net.recon is started automatically it started automatically because net.prob will send all will send udp packet to all the ips present in our subnet and net.recon will analyze the response which this better cap tool get get from these ips and it will uh, shows the, shows all the ip in a very good table format so if you do net dot show you will see that now these ips and mac addresses present in our network so here we have our window machine first let's see what's the ip of our window machine so here my windows machines ip is 1.9 and this one is the ip so uh, 
now we have our target we have animated our target now our point is to do sniffing and spoofing on our this vector machine all right so for that we will need a module which is net dot sniff present here so we can also do help net dot sniff because we don't know how to use this module and now we can see that uh, it will sniff packet from the network dot sniff on start network sniffer in the background and net uh, first layer first read here here we have so many things okay so before doing the sniffing part we need to do arp spoofing we have just animated our target but we haven't done arp spoofing so i forgot that module we will use arp spoof module first to do spoofing and after doing sorry to do sniffing sniffing and spoofing and after doing sniffing and spoofing on our victim machine now we, then we will be able to capture the sensitive information passing into our network sorry from our network so we will do arp dot uh, spoof now here we have arp spoof on start arp spoofer arp dot ban on start arp spoofer in ban mode this arp dot ban is helpful if you want to if if you wants to wants to do jamming on the victim machine present in your network but we will not take a look at that you can explore this uh, this function on your own here we have some parameters arp spoof full duplex if true both the target and gateway will be attacked so we will use that but uh, if uh, uh, router have some kind of protection for arp spoofing attack then uh, you should not use that so we will first use arp dot sorry first we have to set this parameter arp spoof full duplex to true now it will target both victim machine and the router and our second parameter is arp spoof dot target so we will use this also and our target type is 1.9 so we will specify here and we don't have to provide gateways ip because arp spoof full duplex will automatically do that now our sniffing and spoofing parameters are set now we have to just start our arp spoofer now we will do arp spoof on and now you can see that arp spoof full duplex enabled attack in the attack uh, if router has arp spoof mechanism ar attack will fail spoofer started now it started our spoofer so okay now we will do now we will use this uh, sniff help net dot sniff now it will sniff all the traffic passing through the network from this victim machine now we will use this net dot sniff on and here i have started a browser if we reload a browse this browser now you can see this that all the traffic is passing from that victim machine is sniffing by our attacking machine now let's take a look at uh, how we will get sensitive information which is passing get passing get passed from our victim machine if we click on this account login and now try to log in with a random email admin at admin.com and password is also admin now i just press enter now it's just did login if we go on go on into the our victim machine sorry attacker machine we can see that this better cap captured the credentials so that's how you can uh, do arp sniffing and spoofing and capture sensitive information with the help of this better cap tool so yeah that's it for this video guys if you like my videos please like share and subscribe happy baking hari krishna